Live from Market Square in downtown San Antonio, this is SA Live. Ah, yes. Happy Wednesday, everyone. We've made it halfway through the week, so we decided just to kick back and glass of wine and <laughs> nice little meal. Good afternoon. Boy, we got a packed show for you today. I'm Mike Osterhage. And I'm Fiona Gorstiza. Well, before we get into the show, there's a recent study out okay. that lists the five weird things that can make you less stressed. Now, these are kind of the oddball things, Dinner like right? like this. Oh, yeah, this okay. would, well, and wine, of course, <laughs> always helps you de stress. Okay. Stick to topic. Okay, the first is washing the dishes. Okay. The second. Because the simpler yeah. dishes would stress yeah. you out. You know, it's kind of like cleaning, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. which leads into the next one decluttering your home. I agree with that. Well, I yeah. always feel less stressed. Of course. <laughs> the next one, go ahead. Sniffing your partner's laundry. Uh, it doesn't clarify. Is this dirty laundry or fresh laundry? I do not want to smell Matt's dirty laundry ever, okay, ever. But I can smell it enough as it goes by. Okay, and when it's in his hamper, and he no, has not, his own hamper. No, I'm not. But if you're smelling <laughs> fresh laundry, then all you're smelling is downy. Hmm. Right. Yeah, I don't know about this one. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know about that one. I'm Sniffing yeah, your okay. partner's laundry. Exercising anyway. in a group. Oh yeah. Oh, okay, and okay. dwelling on your failures. This one I don't understand it either. A uh, study last year, researchers found that writing about previous failures helps people be less stressed when they encounter I another just, failure. Okay. I don't know. All right. So how we about, want to know. Yeah. How do you de-stress? Maybe a nice meal. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Let us know on today's show at SA Live KSAT. Well, some of us de-stress, as you just mentioned, with a nice meal. How about cooking that nice meal? And that is what we're doing today. Valentine's Day is about a week away, and La Margarita is here to give you a taste of their date night yes, menu indeed. And, and some great you know, meal ideas for it. Gerardo Carvajal right. is here, and this is, I mean, such a classic, classic dish. How are oh, you, sir? Good you. to see great. you. You haven't been on the show in a while. Here. Right. Yes, that's right. But what are we making? Hey, you left out cooking on this dressing. You know, it's a great way to distress. Mm -hmm. Get in the kitchen, start cooking. I used to, when I was single, I used to come home and get in the kitchen and cook after work, just even for myself. Right. It was a good de stressor. I can so. see you doing that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, you were single. I mean, who else is going to do it? <laughs> Take care of your spirits. I will, um, I will. Okay. What are we making? Today, we're making a Chateaubriand. Okay. Chateaubriand is one of those items that is really expensive to go out to a steakhouse. So, we're going to. Uh, show you how you can make it at home without breaking the bank. All right. So and this is the ultimate cut of beef. Right. This is the full tenderloin. That's how it comes to uh, when we order it. We, it's already been uh, cleaned. Mm -hmm. This is called Pismo, piece, uh, full side muscle on, which is, is the side muscle right here. We take the side muscle off. Okay. And this is the center cut right here. And this is what you're going to work with, Mike. So this, um, is the, this is the creme de la creme. Mm. Right there. That's the cut. baby you're looking for there. So, And you don't do much to this except just a, a little lot bit. A lot of salt, yes. A lot yeah, of salt Because and remember, it's really thick, so to penetrate, you have to really be generous on the seasoning. Okay. And, and before you, you stick this in the oven, we're going to kind of seal it up a little bit, right? Sear it? Right. That is correct. And what you do that? in the hot pan? Yes. Okay. Mm, not all. Just a little bit. Yes, a little bit. Oil. Okay. And uh, Fiona, mm -hmm. we're going to get with you and we're going to start working on the uh, um, asparagus, asparagus, a little bit of oil. Just a little bit of oil. Okay. okay. I'm going to throw the asparagus in for you. Thank you. And and we don't want that to get too soggy, right? Correct. You just want to make them al dente. Yeah, except okay. for the potatoes. I mean, especially with a cut of beef like this and the asparagus, you want them, I mean, this mm -hmm. is not going to be well done. No, me. no, you want it medium rare. Maximum medium, otherwise you'll get dry. Remember, it's not a lot of fat in there, it's very lean. Mm -hmm. Therefore, you don't want to overcook it. And if you want something a little more done, you can always go for the end pieces because after this right. gets browned in a very hot skillet, yes. it's going in the oven, right? Right. 350 for about uh, 30 to 45 min minutes, depending on how um, well the mm -hmm. cook you, you want it. So, but about 125 to 135 on the internal temperature, and, and you want to have one of these thermometers with the a probe. thing you can get, and so those you, are cheap at the grocery yeah. store even, so. Because what you want to measure is the center of the steak, not okay. the outside, so. A lot of times, now this is not a cheap cut of meat, even at the grocery store, right? No, it's about uh, 18, 16, 18 dollars per pound. Okay. That compared to what it, it costs to go to a steak house right. and, and get that, it's going to be under hundreds of dollars, so. Right. It's still a lot cheaper to get it. But people might be afraid. They don't want to 
to mess it up. Oh, but you, if you just simple. put it into that oven and keep the meat thermometer handy, you're going to be okay, right? Yes, that's all you take. Okay, and so this is doing, the asparagus is going, mm -hmm. then we've got the potatoes. we got, yes. Okay, and, so the know, potatoes. Once, mm -hmm. once that is um, sealed through all the sides, just like this one right here, mm -hmm. we're going to cut it up. Okay. What kind of specials do you have going on? Yes. This is not a uh, dish. This is just a great example of what you can do at home. Uh, not that she's there. What do you have going on? In well, the we have a lot of things. We have different different things going on at each restaurant. At La Margarita, we have a steak and um, a breast of chicken uh, with shrimp Ooh. on a griddle. It's really good. Ooh, so you got to come really out and good. check it out. I mean, this is a great idea too. But you got to come out and check out our specials. <laughs> yes. So, so let me show you the. And once oh, here. look at that! Oh. Look this at is, that! This is what you want in the center. You want it to be red. That is just heaven on a mm -hmm. plate. And of course, once you take it out of the oven, you want to let it rest for maybe about fifteen minutes. Okay, fifteen so minutes. You don't have to start the asparagus until after that thing's been resting for a while, right? Once right. you're resting, you start working on the asparagus. Of course, you want to do the mashed potatoes ahead of time. Mm -hmm. Get them out of the way. Um, okay. And we're gonna finish it up with a little bit of a wajillo butter. Mm. which has a little, uh, lot of flavor that? to it. All right. Um, well, while he's getting that all plated up, if you'd like more information on La Margarita and all of the La Familia Cortez restaurants, of course, visit LaCamelliaCortez.com. And again, that is just a wonderful, wonderful dish that you can cook at home. And don't be afraid to cook it, too, because, and, and of course, Chateaubriand is one that is served on a platter and... <laughs> My mouth is watering right now. I know. It's I can't wait platter. to try it. And, then, and you, it's meant to be shared by, yes. by a couple. Yes. All right. Little well, wow. rodeo kicks off tomorrow, right? Yes, yes, it does, indeed. And we want to make sure you look rodeo ready. Our Jen Tobias Trusky stopped by. Okay, we have an order oh. of uh, oh. ah. Chateaubriand a la Miguel Osterhays. Thank, oh, I love the like Kelo Thank you very much, sir. We're going to be dining on that. Enjoy. But Jen Tobias Trusky stopped by Wheeler's Western Outfitters and Boutique to rope in some Western wear. It's going to make you say yeehaw, and you're going to be the hit of the rodeo. Take a look. Tobias Dresky out in Bernie at Wheeler's Western Outfitters and Boutique. I feel like I'm rodeo ready, but I think they're going to help me out. Let's go see what they have inside. Come on. It's cute. Totally Texas right yeah. now. How cute is this? They are definitely ready to rodeo here at Wheeler's and I have Jerry here with me today and this place, first of all, so huge in here, but yeah. what makes it so unique? So we are a boutique that is set apart from all other stores and the reason why, I mean, we have something for everyone here. Okay, Jerry, so I could definitely use some help today. Would you be able to help me get Girl. outfitted for the rodeo? Because I'm excited. We've got you fixed up. Okay, well, let's go. Awesome. Quite the selection to choose from at Wheeler's, but we had to narrow it down. Okay, Jen, so I got three outfits ready for you. So fun. Okay, yes. we'll outfit one, right? Let's outfit. do it. Three different looks, all Western chic. Look number one, the denim dress. This is super cute. I love the pattern. Tell me about this outfit. Okay, so the dress is obviously a beautiful chambray denim, and it is embroidered all over front and back. It's beautiful, okay? So the maker is Tasha Fleasy. Um, this necklace is, they're, made, they're one of a kind. They're made in Mason, Texas, so it's all local. Your hat is a Charlie One horse, and so it's a super fun retro style. Ours are kind of similar. I love that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, we're all about hats up here. And then the boots are Lucchese, and they are one of a kind. I mean, they're beautiful. They're soft, and they give you a really fun heel, so. What do you think about this outfit, oh, Wait a minute. Okay, this right here, for someone who's 5'1", let me tell you, I love this. <laughs> yeah, it helps. Love, love, love. <laughs> Look number two. Outfit two. All right, Jerry. So tell me about this outfit. It's so fun. I oh, love it. Isn't it's it amazing? Comfy too. This is an Ivy Jane top. So my favorite thing about this top is it can be worn two different ways. Okay. So just how you have it on, mm -hmm. or we can unbutton this guy, and it'll kind of give you a little more of a waist. And you have your Charlie One Horse Chief hat up top, and it has a little concho right there. <laughs> and um, these are my Lucchese booties. We just got these guys in. They're new for this season, and we are huge fans. When you try them on, you just have to have them. Now on to three. Ready for three. Okay, so 
Okay, the last look. What do you think? I think it looks really good. The top looks super sassy and fun. I know the top <laughs> is Tasha Polizzi as well. It's, okay. some, it's the same maker as the dress you had on. Some cutouts, too fun, but the pants, hmm, we probably could change them up. The last pair she had on fit her perfectly, but these I'll probably have to size her down a little bit. If you see, there's a little bit of bunchy. This, this necklace really pulls out the turquoise. This one is Jay Forks, and it's actually handmade in Bandera, Texas, so right down the road. Isn't that cool? Well, it's been fun playing dress up, but the winner is this one. Fun and comfy for the cattle drive. For SA Live, I'm Jen Tobias Trusky. Let's rodeo, San Antonio. That's why her right. blouse looked familiar. Right? Yeah, she had it on there at the cattle drive. And stick around because Jerry, who you saw in that package, and a couple of other beautiful models are going to be here with some of the looks to go a little dressier. If you're just oh, yeah. going to be kind of walking around searching for the fried Snickers Whether you're the Midway. browns for the day or you're at a concert at you're night. You're going in there. Mm -hmm. Great, great looks. Okay, still ahead. David Elder is out on the rodeo grounds with big prizes from Circle K. How you can win a little bit later on in the show. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, doing? my goodness. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Plus, a gift from the heart. Valentine's Day crafts you can make with your loved ones. Adina Anderson is here. Welcome back to SA Live. Well, of course, Valentine's Day is a week from tomorrow. And of course, you know, roses are always beautiful. But how about something you put a little love into? Yeah, something you make, which is priceless. And lifestyle <laughs> expert Adina Anderson is here to show you a few DIY sweet crafts. Yes. What are we making today? Well, you don't have to break the bank, right? I just headed over to, um, I think it was Hobby Lobby, and they're having it on sale right now, so go now. But that material, okay. uh, I got a bunch of different Valentines, and then just cut it into strips, and you're going to tie knots. These little things, uh, the styrofoam hearts, run about $3. It's oh, really okay. inexpensive. And Perfect. this is something cute you could put out on your door. You could give it as a gift. This is a great way to de-stress. It's a very oh. good way to de-stress. <laughs> right? Yes. We're just going to sit in there doing <laughs> yes. this while you're watching TV or exactly. something. Exactly. And, and this is such a great idea for kids to do, too. Keep them busy. That's right. right. Yes. <laughs> and then our next fun craft is this is kind of real popular right now. Everybody's doing this pouring paint uh project mm -hmm. and so we're going to do it with these little mason jars and this is just regular acrylic paint deco art makes a great acrylic paint and you're going to fill this cup up well not fill it up but you're going to put as much paint in there as you want okay and what we're going to do is after you've got all your paint colors in there you're just going to pour it over the jar so and it, just and it like gives this, kind yeah. of a really neat because this is the finished product that's right the here. finished well, product yes like. and okay. make sure you put a plate underneath because you don't you know it's messy so right. <laughs> Now, when I did it, I kind of held the jar and kind of okay. swirled it, but you can do it however you want because I didn't want to get it on the bottom. Okay. And so, yeah, you got to make sure you get a lot of paint in there because as it pours out. Okay. And then we just. See, and then it starts this. to do that, and then you kind of oh, move it around. Gotcha. Come on, paint. And so, Come yeah, on. you want to put a lot of paint in your oh, cup. Oh, okay. So. The inside <laughs> my, of my cup. The inside of my cup. It's looks beautiful. Amazing. I know. <laughs> now, you could do a little paintbrush technique, too, and kind of swirl it around. So, however you want to do, just let it. You know, this is fun for the kids. Keep them busy. Let them have fun with it. And then you fill it with all the yummy candy, which I brought a, real, a new one for you, the Hershey's Kisses Lava Cake, which you've tried. Yes. Mike hasn't tried no, this he one yet. He's got to try it's that next. Cool. And so, so, <laughs> so there's the idea, though. But look at how, how yeah, cool Yeah, it gets looks. really, I mean, you really want to fill that cup up pretty full with lots of paint so that okay. you can kind of get the idea. You want your to over. You do, yes. <laughs> That's a really, really neat design. I like that. Yay! And it's kind of neat. Now, you want to let it dry overnight. It does mm -hmm. take, because it's thicker, so it, it will take a little bit of time to, look how pretty, see? And you can go, ah, oh, see? Ooh. Right. <laughs> like jealous. Yeah, use all those leftover jars you have from the holidays for like this. Back in the 60s. I know, right? It's like a dollar like store so. <laughs> so, and then we also have these really fun little Valentine's gifts you can give. You know, the kids still do Valentine's cards, I think, at school, right? Or if not, uh -huh. they can give them to their friends. And this is just some scrapbook paper that I had. These are little sweet tarts. And all you're going to do is take a glue dot, stick that on there. Boy, those are one of the greatest inventions. Blue dots, blue I know, dots. right? Wow. I'm telling you. And then I made tic-tac-toe. So you just take the paint markers, or they could write a little note to their friend on there. It's very simple, very easy. And then... You could use the little sweethearts and play tic-tac-toe. Well, that's what you them. do, yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> so it's nice and fun. And then the last craft we have here is the M&M packages, or you could even use carrots if you want to keep it healthy. And these are just clothes pins. I've already painted this for you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to use our glue dot again. And DecoArt came out with this really fun galaxy glitter. I actually just got it yesterday from them. And it, it's really neat when you paint with it because it's got the glitter already in it. Mm -hmm. And then I use a Q-tip. You don't always have to use a paintbrush. Use things from around your house, and then you just kind of dab it on there, and it gives that glitter. So then you have, and then you use hot glue, or you could glue dot your little head and your little pom poms oh, on that's there. That's a great idea. And so they have a little butterfly, but then they also have a you know a little fun thing at the end. And so, and then okay. I know everybody was talking about this pretty rose here. <laughs> it reminds so, me of Beauty and the Beast. It does, yes. Yeah. Yeah. So I was working with Catholic Charities, and on my website is 10, there's a PDF of 10 things you can do with your loved ones that won't break the bank for Valentine's. So you can have fun on there and do some neat things. And then everybody was commenting on my little necklace here. Mm -hmm. Valent it's from Soft Surroundings. I love them, but it's a little Valentine's necklace, and it's not that expensive, so it's something fun you can give your loved one as well. Oh, these are some so, fantastic yes. ideas. And, and again, great ways for the kids to really, you know, make something literally from the heart. Yes. yes Get it? Exactly. Oh, I got it. I know. I and, these are, and these are Mike's favorites. So, you know, oh, happy Valentine's. Oh, yeah. caramel M&M's. <laughs> I knew he was going to break that one open. Yes. yes. <laughs> for all oh. these ideas <laughs> and a whole lot more. I know I shouldn't use my teeth. Don't do as I do. Kids. Oh, well, you know. Uh, go to <laughs> Dean Anderson, visit <laughs> SALive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. All right, still ahead on the show. It's a wild Wednesday with these baby brother warthogs. You want to miss all the cuteness. Oh, look at their little tails go straight up when they run. I can't even. <laughs> Plus, the difference between urgent and emergency care. Gonzaga Medical Group breaks it down, so stay with us. go when there's a medical emergency in your family? Do you go to the emergency room? What about an urgent care clinic? But what's the difference? Dr. Sean Anzari, medical director of Gonzaba Urgent Care Centers, is here with me today to shed some light on that subject. Thank you so much for being here. Thanks for having us. Let's talk about that difference between an urgent care and emergency care. Well, I'm glad you bring that up because uh, many of our patients are sometimes confused. Where should I go? I'm not feeling too good today. So, Generally speaking, in cases of, say, major trauma, signs and symptoms of a, a new stroke, uh, cardiovascular emergencies, or respiratory symptoms that are severe, you should probably be, you know, thinking about an emergency room. Right. For basically just about everything else, an urgent care might be a better option. Uh, things like sprains, strains, uh, minor burns, right. minor allergic reactions, uh, things such as uh, upper respiratory symptoms of the cold and flu, which right. is kind of happening a lot this Going time around of year, a lot, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, urinary tract infections. Uh, those are things that can easily and efficiently be taken care of in an urgent care setting. Now, and a visit to the ER can be e expensive. So how does Gonzaba work to give affordable care at urgent care clinics? Well, you know, one of, the, one of our goals as a, as a medical group was really uh, to be a premier medical group, you need to have convenient options for your patients. And part of convenience is, you know, affordability, I think. Uh, we open up urgent care centers, and in those centers, um, you know, we, uh, we provide you uh, timely access to care. So your wait times are considerably shorter, um, and oftentimes, uh, you know, you, you will be seen by a high-quality uh, type person or provider. As far as affordability, any trip to the emergency room is going to be expensive. Oftentimes, that begins even before you get there, say, with the charges associated with an ambulance. So uh, Gonzaga Medical Group has always been part of the community and is excited about helping you uh, despite what your financial situation might be. And there's online check-in also, right? Yes, that's uh, another part of convenience, absolutely right. And why did Gonzaga decide to open up urgent care clinics? Yeah, again, just to be a, a premier, a, a medical group that's, uh, that's premier, mm -hmm. you need to make uh, wait times uh, and convenience uh, of primary importance. Mm -hmm. uh, that was one of the major reasons. Also. You know, we have a large group of primary care providers, mm -hmm. and it gives us an opportunity to communicate, uh, even if we're not seeing our patient that day, with our urgent care providers who might be seeing one of our patients feeling particularly sick. Right. So that's a unique thing that makes us quite special. All 
right, doctor, thank you so much. Well, if you're looking for a new doctor or just want to learn more about Gonzaga Medical Group and Urgent Care Centers, just give them a call at 210-405-4322. That's 210-405-4322. Or just head to gonzabaurgentcare.com. All right, next on SA Live, it's a wild Warthog Wednesday with these baby brothers. We caught up with them over at Zoo Imagination. And earlier, we asked you, oh, yes, <laughs> how do you de-stress? Emerald says, I watch my video, New Kids on the Block, uh, or I write a story. <laughs> <laughs> Melissa says, plant flowers in my garden. Yes, gardening can be very relaxing. And Marsha says, sit in a room with a little light on and listen to soft music. Yes. Keep them coming at SA Life. Hey, Jack. We are here at Zoo Imagination, and Robert Trejo joins me to introduce us to these fabulous little warthogs, right? That's right. These yes. guys are new here. They are. They mm -hmm. are. We've had them since they were little babies. They came to us from the Columbus Zoo. Is, is, is that one sitting? That's sitting, yeah. Bruce is learning how to sit. <laughs> And Gibbs is, hasn't quite gotten it yet, but he's working on it. Uh -huh. But they are eight months old and they are male African warthogs. Oh my gosh, so this is just eight months just old. Just eight months old. How, how, how much do they approximately weigh at eight right months? Right now they're probably about 60 pounds, mm -hmm. but they can get up to about 250 pounds. About how long before they get full grown? About two years. Two so you'll years? see them at about two years old. They're gonna have their tusks, they're gonna start coming out. They got a little baby tusk, it's kinda hard, hard to see them but you can kind of see their tusks a little bit. But as they get bigger, they're gonna start coming over around their mouth. And that is what they're known for, those big old elephant looking little tusks there. They're, they're the little fur that kind of curls up is yes. so cute. Yeah, that's, we call those the, their chops. And it's almost like an illusion because uh -huh. if you see these guys from a distance, it almost looks like they're tusks. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of also helps them appear like they have big tusks. So other animals might, in, might see them and go, okay, we don't want to mess with them because they do have tusks. But it's just, you can see, it's just part of their, their face there. Yes, it, it, I think it makes them look very distinguished. <laughs> Another thing about these warthogs, which is kind of funny, is that I put a little bit of food down here, uh -huh. is that they get on their knees to graze because they have the longest legs of any pig in the pig family. They, and they're, this is Africa's uh, largest wild pig. And being in the pig family, they have the longest legs. And so that's that's what they do. They get down on the ground. But that's also how they root into the soil. Have you, have you seen any kind of damage wild hogs can do in this area? Yeah. It's no different. They do the same thing in Africa. They dig up the ground and that is what they, that's how they get to the roots of their of their food that they eat there. I'm looking at, you know, kind of, the, you know, their back here and, and I can see like their hair comes out, um, of these follicles are huge. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. So they don't have a lot of thick hair uh -huh. on there. Uh, but it's also because it also keeps them from getting too much dirt on them. So in, in, in Africa, they'll, they'll wallow in the mud uh -huh. and it keeps from sticking on their hair. It also keeps it easier for them to clean it off and rub it off and it dries easily. Mm. And by wallowing in the mud, it also mm. keeps them cool. It keeps any kind of insects off of them too. So if how, how fast can they, they move? Can they, they can run? run about 35 miles an hour. Wow. Yeah, they can get out in the open. They're pretty fast. The thing about warthogs is that it's a matriarch society. The females are actually the ones that are in charge of the group. <laughs> when you see just right. the case anywhere, though? <laughs> well, when you see a bunch of warthogs in Africa when they're babies, it's mostly females. The males are kind of on their own. They kind of do their own little thing. But that's what these guys are. Luckily for these guys, they're brothers, and they love to hang out together. It's hard to separate them. If I walk away with right. one, the other one wants to go right after. So tell folks what Zoom Imagination does. Well, we're a wildlife education and animal outreach. Mm -hmm. So we are designed to be like a zoo to you program. We mm -hmm. will travel to your school, we'll travel to your destination, and we bring a variety of different animals. Uh, we talk about responsible pet ownership, we talk about wildlife mm -hmm. uh, with all of these animals. And we've got different sizes from little lizards and snakes and birds to reptiles, I mean, and tarantulas and even warthogs. We have a herd of reindeer that mm -hmm. we use for the holiday season. 
So we're an educational program. Tell folks how to find you. Uh, you can reach us at www.zoomagination.com. Mm -hmm. That website will give you my phone number. It'll also give you the email address and how to locate us. And it also gives you a list of our programs that we offer. All right, perfect. Yeah. For more information on Robert Trejo and Zoom Imagination, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Still ahead, Rodeo Ready. Wheelers, Western, Outfitters, and Boutique is here to share rodeo fashion inspiration. Stay with us. Welcome back, everyone. Well, we are continuing our giveaways there for the rodeo. And, of course, it kicks off tomorrow. We're giving away a prize pack with four tickets to Russell Dickerson, four carnival passes, and four any day grounds pack passes. Pardon me. And all you have to do is head over to ksat.com slash rodeo to enter to win. All the rules and regulations are posted on salive.com. So good luck. Well, earlier we took you inside Wheelers, Outfitters, and Boutique to get a taste of rodeo fashion. And you get something for the whole family there, obviously from head to toe. And Dale Gardner, who's the general manager, is here today. So, yeah, it's not about the horses and the livestock. It's about the fashion, right? It's about the fashion. Okay. It's, it's all about the fashion. And especially for the ladies. And we have got three beautiful ladies here today. We're going to start off with Alejandra. And this is if you're going to a concert tonight. So one of the things, one we, of the nights exactly. so one of the things we say at Wheeler's Western Outfitters is we're, we're inspired by the Western attire. And, and, but we're also mainstream, Main Street. And so Alejandra's got her Uncle Frank dress, uh, wrap dress on today with her um, linen laurel uh, jewelry. Linen laurel is actually made uh, in the hill country. It's handmade. And, and it's tur that's turquoise, turquoise and what else? jade and silver pearls. Oh, it's beautiful. And it really takes that, I mean, because it's a beautiful dress, but that extra pop of color with that. Exactly. And yeah. still along the whole rodeo theme. Mm -hmm. And, of course, boots and hat. Right. right. She has her Lucchese soft ranch leather boots on. Lucchese is a, a handmade, you know, it's a handmade boot in El Paso. It's a staple. Uh, been worn by governors, presidents, celebrities, cowboys. And that's going to be perfect because maybe there's a little party to go to before the concert, and then she goes to the concert and doesn't have to do anything. Right. She's, she's ready to go to the rodeo. She's ready to go see Aaron Watson. So uh, she's, she's decked and, and uh, good to go. Okay. Well, if you just want to kind of walk around the, uh, the rodeo grounds, Jerry is here, and this is also just a, a fantastic look. Obviously very casual and a lot of accent with the big jewelry pieces, too. So Jerry's all about the, the layering. She has her rodeo gypsy uh, a uh, ranch swag t-shirt on with the Ariat open uh, native print vest. Uh, she's also got uh, J Forks design jewelry, uh, turquoise and uh, jasper and uh, and that around a agate, yes. And agate right around her neck and it's a great complement of all the colors too. Yes, and J Forks designs will actually be at Wheeler's Western Outfitters uh, starting tomorrow through mm -hmm. Saturday. And so if you want to get outfitted for the rodeo or men, if you want to get your ladies Something for Valentine's Day would be a great time to come to the store. And this is kind of the new trend this year. Cowboy boots, but they're sort of ankle high. Yes, uh, very trendy. That's kind of what's in the booties. These are uh, Liberty Black turquoise booties. They're one of our uh, Wheeler's staples at the store. So. And you were saying, Jerry, that's because of the, the for the real tight-fitting pants. So they don't have to go tuck in the boot. You can have the pants all the way down, Exactly. Right? And one of the things we've met, we haven't mentioned is the hats. And it's all about the hats this year. It really is. Uh, all the ladies are wearing hats. And so... She has a Charlie One Horse Salty Bride felt hat on, ready to go to rodeo, ready okay. to go see uh, Jacobs Crawley, world champion bronc rider from Bernie, Texas. Last and certainly not least, we have Betsy here, and this is just the uh, kind of flannel, comfortable looking shirt, but that necklace is something else. That ne that's an awesome squash blossom, I tell you, isn't that beautiful? Uh, Royston Turquoise from the mines out of Royston, Nevada. Uh, just a beautiful piece. If you like bold, if you like unique, that is the piece for you, and, and, and she wears it well. And and those boots, too. Uh, so the boots, uh, that's a limited edition Lucchese brick red uh, full quill ostrich boot. And uh, a special for our viewers, right? A special. We do have a special SA Live for our viewers. Come to the store, mention SA Live. It's 30% off all in-house jewelry. All right. Well, if you'd like more information on Wheeler's Outfitters, head over to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Ladies, thank you very, very much. You are absolutely beautiful. Okay. Next on SA Live, we're taking to the rodeo grounds. David Elder is out there with Circle Decay to get a preview of a new interactive game. That's coming up after the break. Welcome
Welcome back, everyone. Well, we've mentioned a couple of times, but the rodeo does start tomorrow. And this year, for the first time, the rodeo is teaming up with Circle K of Texas to bring you a new, really cool interactive game. Oh, yes. And David Elder is out there at the AT&T Center to check it out. Hey there. Here we go. 98. 99, uh, 100, there we go. Okay, just finished bringing in all the dirt. You guys, it's time to rodeo in San Antonio. I'm so excited. And uh, you know, I kind of moved in some dirt. I'll take some credit for it, but it's been a long process. It's getting ready and it's exciting. And guess what? There's a new game coming out this year when you hear that you get to play when you're sitting in the stands, watching all the rides. And with me today to talk more about it, Abby Catching from Circle K now. Tell me about this. These, this game is called Guess the Score, but there's big prizes, right? That's right. So you have to download the San Antonio Rodeo app, and on there, the game, that's where the game is hosted. So when you play the game, everybody will get a free Polar Pop coupon, and then also there's up to $23,000 worth of cash prizes, and then the finals grand prize is free gas for a year. Free gas for a year, $23,000 in prizes. And those Polar Pops, that's like a fountain drink, you guys. So you can go, you can get a fountain drink, plus all these other big things. I mean, this is huge, right? Yes, we are so excited for this. And Lauren's going to talk a little bit about how this is the first Guess the Score game. I'm, I'm excited. You already announced her. That's okay. <laughs> Lauren's here with us today. Lauren Sides from the Rodeo. Now, Lauren, you actually have the app, and you're going to explain to us what this game even is, right? I do. But first, what are you doing wearing dress shoes? And Why are you calling me out? This is <laughs> My shiny shoes. I know. I didn't bring my hat either. So I, 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 at least wear one of our S hat pins. Okay. Can you please put that on? I please? can do that for us. But in the meantime, talk to us about the yeah. game and show it off. So this is our Guess a Score app that you can download from the Rodeo app and play along for saddle bronc, bareback, and bull riding. So we're going to go ahead and do a little demo for you all. So we'll click uh, join the game here. Cool. So we'll do um, bull riding. Right bull riding. Here. Nice. Yes. Okay. So and then that's like every, that's my favorite thing to see when I'm out here. It's mm -hmm. it's yeah. It is the most daredevil thing. There's no way I could do it. <laughs> um, but let's see if yeah. Lane Nobles here, he is uh, riding right now. We okay. have about eight seconds to go ahead and guess the score. So okay, I so guess, 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 go guess. All right, okay, I'm going to do 75 score. And let's see. Let's see. if Am I a winner? Am I a winner? Yes, Yay! I got 10 points. Give her a round of applause. That's big. Okay, and that's how easy it is. That's how easy it is. And I'm pretty sure I might win a prize because... <laughs> Check this out. I got a coupon for a $10 Visa card. What? Heck yes. Who's that is sweet. That? Yeah. And you can go anywhere with that. But and you really yeah. should go to Circle K and buy up all those goodies because those treats in there, oh my goodness, I can spend an hour in there at least in that little candy section. Now, you have this app right here. It's very easy to use. It's the Rodeo app, right? Yes. And you can actually just download it, play along while you're here. I mean, you're already watching it. Play along too. And you get to win prizes with Circle K. Now, Abby, come on over here. Now, Abby, how many times have you been to the Rodeo? I've been going since I was a little girl, so every year for the past 20 plus years. And that's big. So this and, and incorporating this into your whole experience, I mean, what is that like? I think it's going to be super exciting because I sit in the stands with my family and I always think, oh my gosh, you know, that bull rider did really good. You know, this is probably their score. And it's funny <laughs> sometimes because I'm completely wrong. Um, but I think that's the point of this game is so that you can play against, you know, everyone around you. So it should be a lot of fun. I'm super excited for it. You know, I'm going to be coming out to the rodeo this year. I got to have my, my app ready to go and be guessing scores. I'm pretty terrible at it too. Don't worry, Abby. But, you know, I'm always like, oh, 100. But it's, it's never. But um, it's very impressive to be able to do this. You guys have all these graphics set up around here. I mean, this, this whole AT&T Center just looks amazing, as always, every year. 14 years in a row, PRCA, Large Indoor Rodeo of the Year. I mean, you guys are just rocking it out. Lauren, Abby, thank you so much for having me out here. And you guys, to get more information on this, just go to sarodeoguest.com. You can get all the details on the app. Just download the app and you play along when you're here. Super easy, right? Super easy. Super easy. I love it. And we'll be sending it back over to Mike and Fiona there at Market Square. I'm going to keep breaking. I, I, he's, a, he's a beast. He doesn't even break a sweat. I know. And, and it's all that, that you know, special dirt that he brought in there. Good job on the, the raking there, David. Yeah, I could take him all Got a while. career ahead of you there. So, uh, Boy, you got to be quick with that app, though, because they don't waste any time giving those scores and those uh, right? the it's quick. rock riding and the bull riding stuff. All right. Tomorrow on SA Live, let's rodeo San Antonio. We're going to the San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo on opening day, and we can't wait to show you what's in store this year. Plus, Elder Eats at 1.30. Hungry San Antonio, I'm David Elder, the guy on Facebook who finds amazing food. That is delicious. Join my quest for the best in South Texas Thursdays at 1.30 on SA Live. Four restaurants, four helpings of. This is where it's at. So grab a fork and grab a knife. This is Elder Eat.
do you de-stress? Hey, just taking a deep breath like that. Yeah. Yes, that helps. Adam James says, my de-stressing starts when I clock out at work. And he's a vapor trail, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> go for a walk or take a nap. I go for the latter. Mm-hmm. Raphael says, get out in nature, away from annoying people, especially <laughs> those who are so dramatic in person and on their phones. Amen to that. Spend time in prayer, quietness with Jesus and reading his word. That's from Tracy. Advice, Tracy. And Amber says, take a nap. Two votes for naps. Mm, curl after my own heart. Light yoga, long, warm, sh- oh yes. Aromatherapy products. This one smells wonderful. Nice little plug for that. But <laughs> for a bath. Yes. Clarissa says, the best way to de-stress is going fishing at the coast with my love. Or saddle up my horse and ride, which is a great lead into obviously the rodeo tomorrow. Speaking of which, we're going to be there. We are. I know. Yes. (laughs) Yes, we're going to San Antonio Stock Show and Rodeo. And of course, we're going to take a peek and share what's in store this year for you. Lots of fun going on at the rodeo. And of course, that's going to be uh, an Elder Eats. We're going to be eating a lot tomorrow. Yeah, at 1.30. Yep. Get your appetite ready. Have a great day, everybody. (laughs) We'll see you tomorrow.